Would you say you're over me, or is it still feelings are? Uh... Um, I first met Kieran about two years ago. James and I were together for between eight and ten months. Um, he can be a reserved lad, but he's uh, also a live wire. He likes to party and he likes a good drink. So what have you been up to? Nothing. I'm still going out getting drunk. I can see you're on the wine now. Didn't take you long, did it? It was me who ultimately ended the relationship. He was just too nice to me. It was quite overpowering. OK, I've got a question to ask you. Why am I too nice? You know me, I like um, someone that's a bit... not nasty, but too nice is a bit full-on sometimes. Getting dumped for being too nice, it's a horrible, horrible, horrible thing. Well, I can't change that. I am that kind of person. I do like to impress people and please people. And um, in on my other relationships, <clears throat> I don't argue a lot with my partners. I'm always trying to please them. And they get back from work and the bath would be ran. Um, they get back from work and they cut the dinner. You're not the first and you won't be the last, I don't think, to dump me for being too nice. But I think I just need to find someone that actually appreciates that I am caring, I am loving, I am affectionate, and I do like to please people. We didn't have the healthiest of relationships. I would say the cracks started to appear when me and Kieran went to Cyprus. When we went to Cyprus, that was a very, very stressful time. He liked to go out and party all the time. I used to like go and have meals and a few drinks. He wanted to go to the beach in the day, chill out. I wanted to go out at night, get drunk. And he'd come back late at night and wake me up. We'd argue and then we wouldn't speak for the next couple of days. And then when we got back to the UK, we both literally parted and we stopped speaking for five months. So I think Cyprus was a bad move. Mm. Do I be able to have a, another glass of wine, please? Of course. Thank you. Another glass of wine. You're making me sound like an alcoholic, which I'm not, obviously. I'm not 100% sure if James is completely over me. I don't know if there's still other feelings there. I've got a question for you as well. Would you say you're over me or is there still feelings there? I would say I've always, always liked you. Mm. I think we're better as friends. Better as friends. Mm. Even though we're finished, every now and then we do sleep together, it's, it's a very confusing situation. I think when we do sleep together, when we've had too many drinks, mm. I think it's not a good thing because we kind, I kind of develop feelings for you. Mm. So I think that needs to stop. Yeah, and then sometimes after we have, I back away a bit I, and don't talk to you for a few days because, not of the embarrassment, but because I knew it was a bad idea. Yeah, yeah, I agree. But mm. at the time, you're not thinking about that, are you? No. Was I good in bed? Obviously you were, otherwise we wouldn't have stayed together as long as we were. No. Obviously, it's not the most important part of a relationship, but it is important. Was I good in bed? I wouldn't have gone there more than once if you wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe I went there once to see, second to make sure it was good, and then definitely if we went there three times. <laughs> no more sleeping together when we're drunk. I think he's a lovely guy. Um, he will meet a lovely guy as well. Um, that guy will be lucky to get Kieran. Well, how would you feel if like, I was to meet someone? At first, I'd be quite upset and jealous, but then afterwards, I'd get over it because I know I'm going around the world and you're not. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Would you say you ever really liked me? Of course I did. We wouldn't oh. have been together, would we? So what went wrong? I think we're two completely different people. You all wanted to buy a cat and settle down. I wanted to finish work, buy a bottle of wine and go to the pub. You need to stop being boring and go out more. I think James needs to lighten up a bit, have a good time. I mean, it's not like he's in his 80s. I'm 31 this year, he's like 25, 26. Maybe he's got another five years and then he might put a relationship before having a good night out. So would you say that this is the final goodbye? I'd say this is the final goodbye to anything relationship-wise, 
but I'd say it's hello to a great friendship. It's nice to see how far you've come from what you were when we were together, how well you've done for yourself. Maybe I'll meet the love of my life on a cruise ship because you want that. <laughs> God, you all laugh. I'm very pleased that I spoke with Kieran openly. I now accept why he dumped me and I can definitely move on.